Linear Equations in One Variable XS 2.2 Part 2 A man walks 10 km then travels a certain distance by train and then by bus as far as twice by the train. If the whole journey is of 70 km, how far did he tra travel by train? Distance travelled by walk is 10 km. Let the distance travelled by train be x km. Therefore, distance travelled by bus will be twice the distance by train. We assumed that distance travelled by train is x km. Therefore, distance travelled by bus will be 2x km. Now, total distance travelled will be 10 plus x plus 2x. That is, distance travelled by walk plus distance travelled by train plus distance travelled by bus. That will be 10 plus 3x km. But it is given in the question that the total distance travelled is 70 km. So, let us equate these two. 10 plus 3x is equal to 70 3x equal to 70 minus 10 that is 60. Therefore, x equal to 60 by 3 that is x is 20 km. Distance travelled by train is 20 km. When I bought a pizza and cut it into 3 pieces, when he weighed the first piece, he found that it was 7 grams lighter than the second piece and 4 grams heavier than the third piece. If the whole pizza weighed 300 grams, how much did each of these three pieces weigh? So, let the weight of the first piece be x grams. It is given that the second piece is 7 grams lighter than the first piece is 7 grams lighter than the second. Therefore, weight of the second piece will be x plus 7. Weight of the third piece will be x minus 4 because first First piece is 4 grams heavier than the third piece. So, if first piece weight is x, third piece weight will be x minus 4. So, let us add all the three weights. x plus x plus 7 plus x plus 4 is equal to 300 grams as given in the question. Therefore, 3x plus 7 minus 4 is 3 equal to 300. 3x equal to 297 x equal to 297 by 3 that is x equal to 99. Therefore, the weights of the three pieces are x, x plus 7 and x minus 4. x, x plus 7 and x minus 4 but we already know that x equal to 99. So, therefore, the three pieces weigh 99, 99 plus 7 and 99 minus 4 respectively. Therefore, the actual weights are 99. 106 and 95 grams. The distance around a rectangular field is 400 meters. The length of the field is 26 meters more than the breadth. Calculate the length and breadth of the field. So, first let us assume that the breadth of the field is x meters. Then the length of the field will be x plus 26 because it is given in the question that Length of the field is 26 meters more than breadth. Here breadth is x, therefore length will be x plus 26. Distance around the rectangular field is equal to perimeter of the rectangle, which is given 400 meters in the question. But perimeter of a rectangle formula P equal to 2 into L plus B, where L is the length and B is the breadth. Therefore, 400 equal to 2 into length is x plus 26, and breadth is x. So, 400 equal to 2 into x plus 26 plus x. 2 into 26, 2 into 2x plus 26 equal to 400. 2x plus 26 equal to 400 by 2. 2x plus 26 equal to 200. 2x equal to 200 minus 26. 2x equal to 174. x equal to 174 by 2. x equal to 87. Therefore, breadth is 87 meters. Length is x plus 26. Therefore, 87 plus 26 is 113 meters. Therefore, length is 113 meters and breadth is 87 meters. Ninth question. The length of a rectangular field is 8 meters less than twice its breadth. If the perimeter of the rectangular field is 56 meters, find its length and breadth. So, here let us again assume that the breadth of the rectangle will be x meters. Therefore, length of the rectangle will be 2x minus 8. Why? It is given that the length is 8 meters less than twice its breadth. Twice the breadth is 2x. 
8 meters less means 2x minus 8. So given perimeter P equal to 56 meters. P equal to 2 into L plus B is the formula. Therefore 56 equal to 2 into 2x minus 8 plus x. 2 into 3x minus 8 is equal to 56. Therefore 3x minus 8 equal to 56 by 2. 3x minus 8 equal to 28. 3x equal to 28 plus 8. 3x equal to 36 and x equal to 36 by 3 therefore x equal to 12. So we know that breadth is 12 meters. Length equal to 2x minus 8. 2 into 12 minus 8 that is 24 minus 8 that is 16 meters. Therefore length is 16 meters and breadth is 12 meters. Two equal sides of a triangle are each 5 meters less than twice the third side. If the perimeter of the triangle is 55 meters, find the lengths of its sides. Let the third side of the triangle be x meter because it's given. If we assume the third side to be x, the length of the first two sides will be 5 meters less than twice the third side. Twice the third side is 2x and 5 meters less than that will be 2x minus 5. Therefore, length of one side is x. Length of the other two sides of the triangle are 2x minus 5 and 2x minus 5 each. Given perimeter of triangle is 55 meters. We know that perimeter of a triangle is the sum of lengths of all the three sides of a triangle. So if we have three sides as S1 and S2 and S3, the lengths of three sides are S1, S2 and S3, then perimeter P of the triangle is S1 plus S2 plus S3. Therefore, P equal to x plus 2x plus 5, 2x minus 5 plus 2x minus 5. Given P is 55 meters, therefore 55 equal to 5x minus 10. 5x equal to 55 plus 10. 5x equal to 65. x equal to 65 by 5. x equal to 13. Therefore, length of the third side is 13 meters because we assumed the length of the third side to be x length of the third side is 13 meters length of the other two sides are 2x minus 5 and 2x minus 5 therefore 2 into 13 minus 5 that is 26 minus 5 that is 21 meters therefore the three sides of the triangle are 21 meters 21 meters and 13 meters if you like my video like, share and subscribe. Thank you.